All right. Peace and love, everybody. Peace, Peace and love. Peace Welcome love. to another episode of the Mind, Body, Energy, and Balance podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in um, today. Oh, Lord have mercy. Technology. That's my phone. <laughs> um, um, today, I have a beautiful guest. We the, Today is our Mind, Body, Energy, Women in Business, um, Black Girl Magic, doing the darn thing. Uh, welcome my guest, my son. Hey, my son. Hello, sister. How are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fine. Good, good. Can you turn up your volume a little bit? I don't think okay. um, you don't sound um, that loud coming through. All right, gotcha. All right, so before we actually start the show, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, start how I usually start, and that is giving praise and honor to our beneficent ancestors. It is our culture that we must connect on. We cannot connect on all these various denominations of what people call God. We only can connect on our cultural ancestral heritage, and for that, we thank the ancestors who bind us together. Ashe, I'm okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so welcome 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 to our beautiful guest uh thank you for friend. inviting me huh thank you for inviting me of course of course <laughs> absolutely let me see um let me see we don't edit around here your volume still sounds <laughs> low um maybe it's because you're far from your uh from your device i'm close to it and you're close to it and it's turned up yeah. Okay. Yeah, this up. Maybe I talk loud. All right. As long as it's turned up. <laughs> All right. So, uh, women in business. Um, a few years ago, the New Jersey, uh, the United States Department of Treasury, put out a report saying that um, women uh, were responsible for keeping the economy afloat because women were creating the majority of businesses. In the United States, mm. and then they gave a special nod to black women mm. in business that we were responsible for keeping, uh, for starting the majority of uh, new jobs and new mm -hmm. businesses in America and employing between one and 10 people. So mm -hmm. that's us, you know? Yeah. So um, I wanted to bring on Fabulous Masan. Uh, I am uh, a champion of her designs, uh, her wares. Uh, but let me let her introduce um, herself to our audience. Masan, who are you and what do you do? <laughs> okay, my name is Masan Sokwa and I'm from West Africa, Togo. And mm -hmm. I've been here for 43 years, which is a very long, t a long time. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, since I was in school, I went back to school after my children were born. I went back to school and I still doing my business stuff. I know I'm going to school, but, uh, I like my business, which I've been doing since 1992. Mm -hmm. I had a store and then, uh, I closed the store and started going to the flea market because I get more, uh, traffic from the flea market. Yeah. So, so from the fact, from from there, I do jewelry, different type of jewelry. And uh -huh. um, right now we're doing the copper. That's my main thing. Wire, copper wiring, like the one you. Have okay, on. copper. <laughs> yes, copper. So okay. Yeah. So that's the business uh, we are into now. So f we do many different business businesses now we are on into this wrapping copper <laughs> okay okay the copper now y'all can see i have uh one of my son's uh designs on my uh crown uh and i have several pieces from her uh, i really love her her designs and and uh you know how did you get started with making copper designs um I don't know, it just, it just came to me that uh, since a cup uh, is good for your health, mm -hmm. and uh, I just decided to do something that would be beneficial to people. Yes. So I started small pieces, 
Mm -hmm. Small now it's a lot of I have a lot now, but before mm -hmm. it just uh, a little bit like it just a bracelet. Yeah, now I'm doing the Absolutely. stone and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. some of the benefits of copper uh, to wearing on your body? Copper is one of the mineral to start with. Uh, one of the mirror mineral that's supposed to be in the body. So wearing the copper that will release the the mineral into your body. Mm -hmm. Also, it keep you from keep a virus from entering your system. Mm -hmm. And the okay. copper also, like when the COVID happened the, uh, on the internet, it suggests that to keep a copper jewelry on, and it will help you prevent uh, virus getting into your system. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what bring the whole cup of thing out a lot. Okay, okay. That's the, it were, yes. Yeah. So and then copper also um, help it clean your blood. Your mm -hmm. your blood need to be clean, so it will clean your blood. And also the Egyptian they use copper all the time to conduct electricity. So oh, right like, now, like a copper and um, copper and a stone. Like mm -hmm. a, a quartz, yeah, crystal quartz together conducts electricity from us to God or to the universe. Yes, so I like that part a lot. So that's yeah. what copper. So it does many other stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what copper. So is copper, cri uh, crystal quartz conducts electricity mm -hmm. on the human yeah, body. Yeah into yes. the universal life force and back and yes. forth yes that's awesome that is really yes. awesome so you have a website um that uh but mostly people can find you on instagram right yes, yes i do people can find your uh your uh page and everything on instagram yes right yes. and Should that's her instagram right there mm-hmm mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, it's called a Shop Molly. Shop Molly. Yes, oh. from Instagram. And everybody yeah. can go there. Look at your page. Once you mm -hmm. click on it, your website is listed there. And people yes. can order from you and be able to see many more of your creations. Um, yes. You are also out at, in this region, the local area, the Columbus mm -hmm. uh, Market. On what days are you on, at Columbus? On I'm there Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh huh. Okay. From seven to four o'clock. Okay. Okay. Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> Three days. Three days. Three yes. days. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. From seven to four. Yes. All right. Good. Good. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So, um, being a woman in business, mm -hmm. like what are some of the positives that you would tell a young, a young person going into business? What are some of the, you know, positives you would tell them about business? Mm. For me, from being uh, from Togo, Togo have a history of uh, women being mm -hmm. business women. Mm -hmm. uh, a little story I can tell you is that, um, in 1930, Togo women had a, they have a, a business that they have access to all, all the fabric mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Europe. Unfortunately, fortunately, they have a order made in France, in Holland. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, reality podcasting, folks. I will call you back. I'm sorry. So... Uh, they have access to the the place that they manufacture the fabric. So mm -hmm. we we talking about making the fabric ourselves. Well, that time in 1930, they have to order it to be made in Europe, in Holland. So that's mm -hmm. um, so the, these women will make the pattern and send it to Holland and mm -hmm. have it made. And when they made it, it's only mm -hmm. for them. So they have a uh, Pattern, pattern, the pattern, the fa uh, the pattern that they want them to mm -hmm. print. 
Mm-hmm. So, okay. so these women in 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 Togo, they call them Nana Bands. So when mm-hmm. the fabric come that time in 1930, they divided all over Africa. So mm-hmm. they have so much access on the fabric, nobody else can get it. So that's when you go to the big market in Togo, Lomi, you see all oh, these ladies, they have a lot of money, serious money there. When the president invites diplomat to the country, they will go and ask them permission to borrow their benzes. They have bands. The, the president will borrow the band to transport his uh, diplomat. That's mm-hmm. how how much um, power these women has. So wow, they was, yeah, they they were powerful. So when I was little, we usually go to the big market with um, a basket and mm-hmm. go to them to give us fabric. So mm-hmm. we take. They will cut the fabric two yard. That's how we use it to wrap two yard and put it all around the the basket, fill it up with the basket, and we will go around the market to sell it. Mm-hmm. And when we finish. They give us money. They pay us. So that's mm-hmm. how we started business. Almost every girl do did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so that's how we learn business. Yeah. Okay. All so right. That's how our business minded started. So for, mm-hmm. for for me, when I got here, I continued doing the same thing. And uh, for t- my advice to all the girl or anybody that want to do business, it's good to start something on the side because the people mm-hmm. quit the job and go mm-hmm. start a business. Uh, and that is hard. You can't you can't survive because any business mm-hmm. that you start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things okay. So any business you start, it don't pick up right away. So you have to have something on the side to fall on back on. So start that business on the side and continue your job. And if everything pick up very well for your business, then you quit your job. Yes, so ma'am. That, that's yes, my ma'am. Thing because don't drop everything and say, Okay, I start in business. You have to mm-hmm. be doing both of them and see which one pick up better for you. Yeah, uh, I think that's <laughs> excellent. Okay. So now, how would you suggest or what would you, uh, what would be your commentary in all the years of experience of running a business about some of the hard things? I don't know why that's still clapping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where is my technology engineer when you need him? I mean, really. <laughs> so what would you share with um a person just going into business or some of the challenges that you had to face some of the stuff that's not so positive or not so easy to to work through Mm. that you had to face what i will i can tell you is that uh when i started I, I was doing different thing up to now. So you mm-hmm. have to try different thing and see what works for you. That's that's my mm-hmm. that's what I noticed because I started selling clothes, African clothes, then I changed it yeah. to something else, changed it to another mm-hmm. thing, pictures, and uh, now it seems like I find my cap of business that people mm-hmm. the reaction of people they just like it how uh, it's made and all that. So I say you have to try different things to see mm-hmm. what will work for you. Mm-hmm. Try different things to see what works for you. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. And don't give up. Oh, you know, yes. just keep keep going. I, yes. I like the I like the suggestion because a lot of times people feel like um you know, people feel like um, you know, I, I got this dream. I have this idea of what I want to bring forward and I'm just mm-hmm. going to throw everything to the wind and jump two feet in to that yeah. uh, idea. And you said it, I think you said it best, you know, things mm-hmm. take time. So you don't want to, you don't want to be without your anchor income. Yes. So when you are starting a business, you, you really have to kind of do double duty. You know, yes. you got to work somewhere where you have 
income to take care of your responsibilities yes, yes. and your lifestyle yes. and like you said yes. have that that business as a side hustle until it yes. can replace uh or at least meet the income that you're making you know that's, that's exactly absolutely it. i think that's a great that's idea it. absolutely so people can find you thursday saturday and sunday at the yes, Columbus at the market, market Columbus. in New Jersey here, Columbus, yes. New Jersey. And if you are not local, <laughs> you should go on Instagram to shop. Um, how you say it? Ma Maul Mauli. 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 Shop Mauli yes. on Instagram. It's right yes. there across the bottom of and, the screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, y'all can just yeah. your and ID and order. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So the website is uh, sh on Shopify. It's Shop Mauli. So if you go on Shopify, uh, the the stuff are out there. Okay. You can order okay. from there. Yeah. Okay. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Yep. So that is uh, that is great information. I just want to make sure that we have the right contact in here, and we will adjust it as it needs to be. Uh, Masan, thank you so much for joining yes. Mind, Body, Energy, and Balance, Women in Business, our Women in Business edition, uh, mm. wishing, uh, not wishing, but envisioning yes. so much success, abundance, and prosperity for you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And <laughs> so we want to say mm -hmm. uh, to our listeners, Always remember mm -hmm. to keep your mind, body, energy in mm -hmm. balance. Yes. Balance. So much so that yeah. you walk yes. in peace. Yes. Thanks for listening. See you next time. All right. All right. Peace and love. Peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will talk to you later.